curb find kids bicycle curb find adult frame and then we have our hub motor this motor was off an old scooter i have a dual mode controller got this one i think this is amazon and it's just a generic controller you'll see a lot of these i want to build an e-bike with these four components here plus we're gonna to have to add some batteries so let's put this stuff together so what we... let's see if we can widen this want to get the controller to learn the type of motor it's going to be powering. Three phase wires connected, the wires to the motor connected, and we have our positive and negative. So I don't hook up the throttle, I do the learning process first. We're going to connect the learning wires. So now we're going to hook up our battery. Lock wire, so our switch. So we connect that to positive. And there it goes. Okay. So the motor is now learning. Disconnect the learning wire. We're gonna hook up our throttle. White is gonna to go to green or gray, and then black is gonna to go to black. Let's test the throttle now. Go. As you can see, there's a little bit of a burnout, and <laughs> we're up to top speed right now. What's going on guys? My first hub motor homemade e-bike build and this one was built mainly from all free parts except for the batteries, controller and the throttle. So I converted a kid's bike to work as an adult e-bike. So why I use the kid's bike? Obviously because the scooter wheel is only 16 inches I need to find a bike where the tire was similar in size. <laughs> you wouldn't want 26 inch wheels and a little tiny wheel in the front. But what I've done with the kid's bike is I've modified the kid's bike to work as an adult bike. Cut the frame of another bike and I've added it in. I've got the seat right up where I want it. I can actually adjust this down a little bit or I can go up even higher. If I run out of power, I can just stop and give it a little bit of a charge. The weird thing about this bike is obviously the handlebars. Why do I have two handlebars on here? Unfortunately, the brake cables were too short. Until I can get some longer brake cables, I've kept the original handlebar on there. So the controller is stone cold. This motor doesn't put any load on that controller. The 
hub motor was actually off of an old scooter. Now the scooter was given to me, it did not work. They thought the motor was damaged. It was probably the hall sensors in the motor. The controller was burned out. So to get the scooter wheel on the front of the bike, I had to widen the forks because the scooter wheel is pretty wide. To make the brakes work, I've just cut them off and I've lowered them down. 500 watt hub motor. It's got tons of torque compared to geared motors, but just not as much speed. For the battery carrier, just taking this old power supply cover supports for my battery box. Just taking some pieces of old scrap pipe. I'm adding some rubber pieces to kind of keep my batteries in place and to keep them from vibrating around. So while I'm sightseeing, charging up my homemade e-bike, after a half an hour of charging, I've already range extended quite a bit because the wattage has dropped off on the charger from 104 watts to 73 watts. So you can build this e-bike with no welding at all. If you're not using a scooter motor like I am, then you don't have to widen anything. You can just plug and play. The only reason I modified this bike was because I wanted it comfortable as an adult bike. I don't like to be all squatted down and you can't really pedal the bike. Thank <laughs> you.